Okay, good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of you. So, uh, girls, you just need to write on your name and section in the chat box. Okay. Write on your name and section in the chat box. I'm giving you one minute. Okay, students. Okay, I'm going to share the screen now. So uh, please uh, keep your workbooks along. We were on this page. That is page number 15 of your workbook, all of you. Page number 15 of your workbook. And we were on the D part, I guess. Am I right, Maham? Okay. So uh, D part is page number 15 of your workbook. Look and write. Yes, Uzma Sayyid. Beta, you need to uh, rename yourself. Okay, mom, mom, I wanted, mom, I can't see the screen. Sorry, what did Clear. you say? I can't see the screen clearly. You can't see the screen clearly? Might be uh, it's uh, there's some uh, issue at your end of internet issue because um, yeah. because I can see the screen clearly. Okay, mom, I didn't see the screen clearly now. Now. Okay, that's great. Okay, so uh, deeper is look and write. So look where look in the picture okay you have to look at the picture and then you have to write down the word under each picture okay so the first word as you see it's tagging so they are tagging okay this boy is tagging him so tagging word is used under it second word second picture what this picture is about it's skipping right it's skipping so all of you please write on skipping skipping right what is the third one yes khadija what do you see the third one is about third one is about raining sorry sorry running running very good it's about running right okay uh yes Azil, tell me about the fourth one what the fourth one is about kicking kicking good it's about kicking yes maham What's the fifth one about? Uh, Ma'am, uh, bouncing. Bouncing. Fifth one is bouncing. And the last one, uh, yes, Zunera. I 
done this page at 24 March 2021. I done the whole page. Okay, that's fine. But 24th March, how come it's possible? And not 4th March, it's 24th March. 24th 24. May. 24th May. It would be 24th May, not 24th March, I guess. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, sixth word is dropping. Right? Sixth one is dropping. Okay. Now look at the E part, all of you. The E part is about rewrite the sentences to tell what they like and enjoy doing, right? So you have to use the word given in the bracket and then you will change the verb into a noun to add ing at the end. As you see, ride. Ride word is a verb. So when you change the right word into a noun, you added ing at the end to make it a gerund. So she enjoys riding a bicycle. Understand? So if you look at number two, he plays foot bag. And the word given in the bracket is like. So you have to use this word in the sentence and then you will change the verb into a noun to add ing at the end. So if you see this word, he likes playing foot bag. Can you see all of you girls how I changed it? What I did, I used this like word in the sentence and then I changed the verb into a noun to add ing at the end. So what did I do? He likes playing foot bag. So all of you please write down. He likes playing foot bag. Okay, if you look at number three, do they bounce the ball? And the word given in the bracket is like. Do they bounce the ball? And the word in the bracket is like. So who will tell me the correct sentence? Um, yes, uh, Anabia. Anabia will tell me. Anabia, can you tell me better? they like bouncing the ball do they like bouncing the ball very good do they like bouncing the ball Do they like bouncing the ball? Okay, number four, they don't draw pictures. So who will tell me? I need to ask Urva this time. Yes, Urva. They don't draw pictures. And the word they don't enjoy pictures. They don't enjoy drawing pictures. Very good. They don't enjoy drawing pictures.
they don't enjoy drawing pictures. Okay, girls, I'm waiting for all of you. Okay, I'm moving on to the next slide now. I'm sure uh, you all have done it. Okay, how many of, is there anybody left who hasn't done it yet? Everybody has done it? Just um, show me with your thumbs up that you have done it. So I start the next work. I just need to make sure everybody has done it. Okay, class, all of you, come to page number 23 of your student book. Page number 23 of your student book. page 23 of your student book. Okay, so you can see on page number 23 Verb phrases with get. So you have been given some of the words which you can see on my slide as well. These are the verb phrases with get. When we'll be using a verb after get to make a verb phrase. So they have given you one example. It's fun for children to get together and play games. So get together is a phrasal verb as well. So using the get word, and then you will be using different phrases with get, verb phrases with get. So you see on my slide as well, there are different words like get along, get by, get over, get away, get around, and get down. I'll explain you the meaning of each word one by one, right? And then we will do the written part on the workbook later. So the first word is get along. What do you understand about the word get along? When you get along with somebody, am I right? 
So get along is used in this context, like you are getting along with someone means when you are friendly with each other, like you're getting along with your friend, you're getting along with your brothers and sisters, right? So you, it means that you are friendly with each other. So get along me, means when you are friendly with each other, you use the word get along. You use the phrase verb get along. Second word is get by. Get by means when you have just enough of something so that you can do what you have to do. Get by, right? Again, I'm telling you, when we'll be using these words in sentences, then it would be more clearer to you, okay? When we'll do the written part on the workbook, so it would be more clearer to you that how these words would be used there. So get by means to have, ju you just have, have enough of something so that you can do whatever you have to do. Get over. Get over means to become well or happy again after you've been sick for so many days and you, uh, you are getting over. You get over that thing. When you get over something, like for example, you were sick and you get over it and you are well again and you are happy again. So you use the word get over, okay? Get away. So we use this word in normal routine, get away, to escape from a person or a place. When you want to escape from somebody and you use the word get away from me, right? That means like you are escaping from that person and you don't want to talk to that person and you really want a space. So means you use the word get away, right? Get around. So get around is again a phrasal verb and it means to move from one place to another or move from place to place means getting around. Why are you getting around, okay? So get around is used in a way when you move from place to place, you use the word get around. Who is raising hand? And the last word is get down. So <clears throat> get down is again um, to move your body to a lower position. For example, you're jumping on the bed and your mom say, get down now. Get down means like you are not supposed to jump anymore. Get down from the bed or get down from the chair. So you use the word get down in this context, okay? So get down means to move your body to a low position. So use the word get down, right? So these are different words using get. Get along, get by, get over, get away, get around, and get down. So get along. If you get along with someone, that means you're friendly with each other. Get by means when you have just, when you have enough of something and so that you can do whatever you have to do. Get over means you become well or happy again and you've been sick or sad, but you are happy again. So that means you get over something. Get away means when you want to escape from somebody. So use the word get away. Get around when you move from place to place you use the word get around and get down when you move your body to a lower position then you use the word get down right so these are different words verb phrases using get so if you look at page number let me tell you the workbook page Workbook page number 16. 16 of your workbook page. Okay, we will, we will just read sentences. We will not do the written part right now. 
just listen to me girls all of you so we will just read the sentences we're not doing any part right now i will do this part tomorrow because uh, with boys i didn't do this part yet so i don't want to do this part with you guys either so you just need to listen to the sentences as you see number one sentence i get along with all of my friends so you see how this word is used get along when you are friendly with each other so use the word get along i get along with all of my friends number 2 my dad gets by with just 5 hours of sleep every night like means do you have enough of something so you can do whatever you have to do so you see my dad gets by with just 5 hours of sleep every night this is what he has to do number 3 when i catch a cold i usually get over in a day or two so that means he or she is getting over that flu in a day or two so get over means when you are happy or well again right number 4 be careful don't let him get away so don't make him escape don't let him escape from you so be careful don't let him get away number 5 my aunt doesn't have a car so she gets around by bicycle so that means she is moving from one place to another place through bicycle right so that's how she gets around number 6 my little brother climbed on the fence in our yard so i told him to get down so this is how the word get down is used that the brother was climbing the fence and she told him to get down she told him to come down so that's how these different verb phrases with get is used here understand all of you girls do you understand the concept of verb phrases with get yes roman do you understand beta Roman Choudhury do you understand Yes Zisha is showing me thumbs up that means Zisha is understood Okay yes Faria is understood too Maham do you understand beta Okay when we'll do this page tomorrow in detail like we'll be uh, following the instructions and then we'll do it and the b part is again you have to use these verbs with get by yourself so then you will be more clearer that how you have to use these verb phrases with get okay and then in uh, in ra i'll give you some uh, these words to make sentences right so you will be more clear you can use google you can uh, like use your um um like you can think over or you can use google either it's totally up to you so i'll give you these sentences as an ra2 right so um that's all for today so if you have any question regarding um today's work so i'm giving you 2 minutes to ask you can ask me now wait khadija let me take your attendance first and then i'll unmute you who is this galaxy tab galaxy tab just rename yourself because i wouldn't be able to mark you present kindly rename yourself what's your actual name rename yourself please galaxy tab Yes Khadija 
Do you have any question? No, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Kisma. How are you, my love? Yes. Yes, we'll do these both parts tomorrow, inshallah, okay? Right? Okay, girls, take good care of yourself. I'll see you inshallah tomorrow. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz. Bye, Hafiz. Bye bye, loves. Bye, mom. Bye.